All right, welcome back, everybody. We are going to do a pod review today on one of these peppers here. Let's see if we got something ready here. Oh, getting down. It's been getting rough these days. All right, we could probably do a pod review on this one here. And this is called the Cap 1493 Backslash 80. That's kind of a strange name if you ask me, but that's what it's called. And this is what they look like in general. A couple of them on there. There's some up here. But we could pick this one right here. This one's not too big a one. Don't know if it's going to be hot. I would imagine it is. And I'm assuming it's an anum, so... That is the cap 1493-80. All right, so let's get you into a little bit better light. Kind of give you a better look at it. Seems pretty clear right here. That's what that looks like. And um, don't know much about it offhand. I'll just put all that information down below. You can read about it there. Try to zoom you in. Beautiful looking pepper. Nice little one. But that's it. Let's turn you around and give that a go. All right, welcome back, everybody. We're going to do a pod review today on this pepper right here. And this is the Cap 1493 Backslash 80. Don't know that much about this pepper, but whatever I can scrub from the net or the germaplasms, I will put in the description below, and you can read about it there. But that's it. Nice little pepper. Nothing too special about it. Okay. You can see here's the cap on it, the calyx, kind of like a cayenne type of calyx almost, but not quite as crowned. And uh, so that's it. Let's uh, give that a go. Okay, it's a pretty nice pepper. It's, um, it's re really low heat, so we'll go over the flavor first. First of all, it has a uh, tangy type of flavor. So it's, it's really hard to say whether it tastes like an, you know, a bell pepper or a cane. That tangy flavor was pretty dominant, but it didn't taste like, uh, you know, fruity like a habanero. It didn't taste, um, uh, you know, like a bacadam or anything like that. And I'm pretty confident that this is a, an atom and not a chancy or anything. So it didn't have any fruity flavors, nothing funky like that. Um, it was just tangy. It, was, it, it's, it could be that it's that way because it's the end of the year and everything's dropping its leaves. And, and usually at the end of the year, things start to get a little weird tasting. Tomatoes, peppers, they start to pick up a kind of a weird flavor. So that's usually what happens at the end of the year. So it could be because of that. But it, it, the aftertaste, or if you want to call it the overtone, instead of the pepper flavor... Um, it wasn't very prominent, so right now I was really getting the uh, tangy flavor, but it did have a nice type of anum type of overtone flavor. It was pretty smooth, uh, nothing, you know, potent about it, nothing awkward. It was just that tangy flavor was there. That was pretty much the prominent part of that flavor profile. And uh, now as far as the heat goes, the heat is relatively low. I, I'm guesstimating here. We're, we don't know the exact scovels of this. Um, if I was to put Scovels on it, I'd probably say this, the heat would be anywhere between like 50 and then probably 500, maybe slightly higher than that. I don't believe that it's going to get too much higher than what I just taste tested here. This one here was probably about 100, 150 on a Scovel. It was relatively really low. Um, in general, it was just like a warm glowing burn on the top of my tongue and along the tip of the tongue and really that was about it uh it, it, it when i first ate it though the initial juice and everything that came out and when i swallowed it I, I did get a little bit of a burn in the back of the throat but not like burning it was like a warm type of warmness in the back of my throat i don't know how to explain that it wasn't quite like burning like a, a like peppers normally do when you swallow them you kind of get that pounding feeling in your tonsils nothing like that but it was like a warm glowing type of burn and it kind of encompassed not just the tonsils but like where it went down like that whole area underneath the tonsils that kind of a thing i could feel it in there it actually feels really good to be honest with you uh, if you had a cold that would feel really 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 nice on the back of your throat you just have to chew it and swallow it right away you can't because once that heat absorbs into your mouth then you're swallowing it's already absorbed it's not high concentration of capsaicin so it's going to absorb wherever it goes first 
and that's where you're going to feel it. In this particular case, it mostly absorbed into my mouth, but there was still some when I swallowed this, so I felt that effect in the back. So if you're trying to get the burn more to the back, you got to chew and swallow it relatively pretty quick, regardless of the results of doing that. Um, but again, the flavor was pretty nice. Uh, what would I say you could use it for? You could pretty much use this like any other pepper. Um, I, because they're so small, they're not really big peppers, I would probably say that they're probably best for either pickling or chopping up and frying with steaks and, and sausages and things like that. Um, you could throw them into sauces if you like. Um, like for example, tomato sauce. I usually throw some peppers in my tomato sauce. I really don't prefer to put hot peppers in my tomato sauce. So if I'm eating spaghetti or pasta or something like that, I, I don't necessarily want hotness in my uh, pasta. It's one of the few dishes I don't care for hotness in. Um, so I don't like hotness, even a, even a little bit I don't care for it in tomato sauce. But sometimes when it gets in there, I, it's not, I'm not going to throw the food out because there's a little heat in it. Because it does happen sometimes. I do sometimes um, get one of those mixed up because I cut peppers up by the, you know, I got bowls full of peppers. And sometimes the heat runs off into the sweet ones and they pick up a little of the heat. The juice is on there and it gets in there. And I don't throw the food out. I eat it anyway, but I don't prefer it. But it's a nice little pepper, and um, not much really to say about it. I don't really know anything about its history or why it even has a backslash 80 on it. I, I don't know why you would do that, but whatever. That's how it's listed. That's how uh, we're going to list it. And so what I'll do is I'll leave whatever information I have on this pepper in the description below. And uh, you can read about it there. And I'll also leave a link in the description where you could go over to the website and you can purchase the seeds if you want to give it a grow. All right, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.